Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to King of Jordan, His Majesty Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein, on the anniversary of his accession to the throne. His Majesty expressed his best wishes of good health and happiness to His Majesty King Abdullah and of further progress and prosperity to the people of Jordan under the wise leadership. His Majesty the King wished Jordan further progress and praised Bahrain Jordanian relations and their development in various fields. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace today the Chairman of the Yemeni Presidential Leadership Council, Dr. Rashad Mohammed Al Alami, and the accompanying delegation upon their visit to the kingdom. His Majesty welcomed Al Alami and the accompanying delegation and expressed thanks to him for assuming this national responsibility, wishing him and all members of the council continued success to serve their country and its people. His Majesty hailed the depth of brotherly relations between Bahrain and Yemen and their people throughout history. His Majesty the King affirmed Bahrain's support of the Yemeni Presidential Leadership Council in carrying out its duties and its efforts in restoring legitimate authority, achieving peace, security, stability and development in Yemen and meeting the aspirations of its people. His Majesty also expressed Bahrain's welcome of extending the humanitarian truce in Yemen announced by the United Nations to contribute to reaching a comprehensive and sustainable political solution to the Yemeni crisis wishing for peace to prevail in Yemen and for his people to enjoy security and stability to achieve development and prosperity. For his part, al Alemi expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty for the warm welcome and generous hospitality, affirming his pride in the deep-rooted relations between the two countries. He also expressed his appreciation to Bahrain's supportive stances towards Bahrain to ensure security and stability. He also briefed His Majesty on the latest developments in Yemen and the role of the Presidential Leadership Council and his efforts in stabilizing and strengthening security. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, his personal representative, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the Platinum Jubilee of Queen Elizabeth II reception held at the Ritz Carlton. Upon his arrival, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad was welcomed by the UK Ambassador to Bahrain, Roderick Drummond. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah gave a speech during which he conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and their sincere congratulations to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II and their wishes of good health and happiness to Her Majesty and of further progress and prosperity to the British people. The Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa, received the Chairman of the Yemeni Presidential Leadership Council to Bahrain, Dr. Rashad Mohammed Al Alemi, and the accompanying delegation in the presence of the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Al Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani. His Highness welcomed Al Alemi and the accompanying delegation, expressing appreciation for the efforts of the Presidential Leadership Council and its endeavors to establish security and peace in Yemen. He affirmed Bahrain's support of these efforts and 
and its aspirations to contribute to extending the truce period in Yemen for two additional months within the initiative of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the efforts of the Special Envoy of the UN Secretary General to Yemen to end the Yemeni crisis and reach a comprehensive and lasting political solution that achieves security, stability and peace in Yemen, which meets the aspirations of its people for development and prosperity, wishing them success. His Highness also welcomed the results reached by the ministers of the two countries in their meetings, which will contribute to strengthening relations between the two countries and strengthening the various fields of cooperation for the benefit of the two people. For his part, al Alemi expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for the support and assistance he provides to Yemen and its people and to the Kingdom's position and its efforts aimed at achieving security and stability in Yemen and the security of the region. He also expressed thanks to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak for receiving him and the delegation. They also discussed a number of regional and international issues of common concern. The Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh Saleh participated in the ceremony held by the Bahrain Foundation for Dialogue on the occasion of its 10th anniversary. Uh, Saleh delivered a speech in which he affirmed that the values and principles of tolerance, coexistence and dialogue in Bahraini society were rooted with the launch of the reform project of His Majesty the King. He noted that the reform project of His Majesty clearly emphasizes the importance of promoting a discourse of moderation and coexistence among the various components and segments of the Bahraini society, which was affirmed by the National National Action Charter and the Bahraini Constitution. He praised the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of many civil society institutions and organizations which played a role in enhancing the principle of equal citizenship in the Bahraini society, indicating that the responsibility for maintaining community cohesion and promoting national cohesion is a participatory. Al Saleh pointed out that the Bahrain Foundation for Dialogue is one of the results of His Majesty's reform project and reflects the authentic Bahraini principle. Principles. As part of his visit to Bahrain, the chairman of the Presidential Leadership Council in Yemen, Major General Dr. Rashad Mohammed Al Alemi, accompanied by the Vice President of the Council and the Yemeni Ambassador, visited the Ministry of Interior, where he was welcomed by the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the head of the National Intelligence Service, the head of Public Security, the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Interior, and the Inspector General. تعظيم سلام سلام قف The minister welcomed their visit, underlining the historical and close relations that unite the two brotherly countries and people, stressing Bahrain's keenness on the security and stability of Yemen and providing all forms of support and backing with regard to training programs and security cooperation in a manner that preserves the security and stability of Yemen. The talks also covered a number of important security issues within the framework of strengthening cooperation and coordination and improving performance to face security challenges and rapid changes on the regional and international arenas. They also reviewed a number of programs offered by the Ministry of Interior in the field of enhancing security and preserving national identity, including the program to combat violence and addiction together. The Alternative Sanctions Program and to proceed with the implementation of the initiatives of the National Plan to enhance national belonging and consolidate the values of citizenship.
the Minister of Education and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Abdullah bin Khalid College of Islamic Studies, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, chaired the meeting of the council which was held at the ministry's headquarters. The council reviewed a presentation on the number of students accepted in the various disciplines in the college, namely Islamic law, Sharia judiciary, and Islamic banking, and followed up on the progress of work in completing the new building of the college implemented by the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, where the latest international standards approved in the design were taken into account in its design educational facilities and environmentally friendly specifications in which energy is rationalized. The council then discussed the proposal for the college's vision and mission and the approved formula for them. The council also reviewed the study plan that was approved by the academic committee emanating from the college's board of trustees, which includes a training program for students, which will be implemented as of the next academic year, and focuses on the field aspects and the fields of specializations offered in the college, as well as the evaluation mechanism criteria and condition for selecting majors. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Tlib Rashid Al Zayani, received the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Expatriate Affairs of Yemen, Dr. Ahmed Awad bin Mbarak, within the framework of the official visit of the Chairman of the Yemeni Presidential Leadership Council to Bahrain, Dr. Rashad Mohammed Al Alimi. During the review, they reviewed the course of the strong and distinguished historical relations and ways to strengthen them for the benefit of the two countries and people. In addition to discussing increasing cooperation and joint coordination and unified positions in international forms and in in the areas of diplomatic training and the protection of human rights. The minister affirmed the firm position of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in standing by Yemen and supporting its security, stability and unity within the framework of a comprehensive political solution that ends the current crisis and achieves the aspirations of the Yemeni people. For his part, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Expatriate Affairs of Yemen praised the Kingdom's keenness to enhance bilateral cooperation and its support for Yemen's security, stability and development process, wishing the Kingdom and its people further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Isam bin Abdullah Khalaf, affirmed the continuation of developing government work by enhancing the spirit of creativity, innovation, love of excellence and achievement in order to provide the best levels of service to citizens and residents. He indicated that the Ministry's goal is to provide the best services in accordance with the highest quality standards. The Minister expressed his deep thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, for honouring the Northern Region Municipality by winning the Customer Service Centre in Ali. Hamad Town and Bdeya with the Golden Shield within the elevation, the evaluation program for government service centers, Daqim 3, 2021, indicating that honoring His Royal Highness uh, two municipalities are always a great incentive to work towards uh, developing government services and it is a place of pride for workers in the Ministry of Works. For his part, the CEO of the Information e Government Authority and Chairman of the Government Service Centers Evaluation Committee, Mohammed Ali Al Qaid, praised the efforts of the Ministry of Works to obtain the Golden Shield for for all customer service centers in the northern region municipality. He stressed the need for the continuity of excellence in these centers maintaining the highest levels of quality and developing services and creativity in accordance with the desired goals of this program. The Special Envoy for Climate Affairs and CEO of the Supreme Council for Environment, the SCE, Dr. Mohammed bin Mbarak bin Dana, participated in the MENA Europe Future Energy Dialogue, MEFED, or MEFED, conference. The participation came on behalf of His Majesty's personal representative chairman of the SCE, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The meeting was hosted under the patronage of His Majesty Abdullah II bin Al Hussein, the King of Jordan, with the aim to strengthen cooperation between countries in the field of sustainable energy. The Special Envoy highlighted highlighted that the conference represents the best aspects of cooperation to face challenges in preserving the environment and climate change and achieving sustainable development goals. Dr. Bendena praised Jordan's prominent role in promoting rapprochement and cooperation between the Middle East, North Africa and Europe, especially in light of the environmental and climate challenges facing the world and requiring international solidarity for a future that enjoys a healthy and sustainable environment. He stressed Bahrain's keenness to strengthen cooperation with Jordan and the participation countries to preserve the environment and achieve sustainable development. 
The Undersecretary of the Ministry of Health, Dr. Walid bin Khalifa or Almana, met with the Minister of Health and Population of Yemen, Dr. Qasim Mohammed Bouheba. The Undersecretary of the Health praised the depth of the distinguished and well-established historical relations between Yemen and Bahrain as a model for the sincere, friendly and brotherly relations between the two countries. He also praised the level of continuous cooperation that exists between the two sides, stressing the importance of pushing the paths of relations between Bahrain and Yemen and towards a broader horizons. During the meeting, Dr. Almana stressed that such meetings and developments in the relations between the two sides reflects the continuation of the march of a renaissance and progress. For his part, the Yemeni Minister of Health praised the level of development of the health system in the Kingdom of Bahrain and the efficiency of qualified national medical staff in accordance with approved international standards, especially excellence in health services during COVID-19 pandemic.